Hey guys, it's your boy Ultraarch and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix lag in Sony Vegas. Now this works anywhere from versions 8 till 13. Now I know many people have been having this problem from online streaming to just regular recording. It can happen in the timeline or in the window guys. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix any kind of lag in Sony Vegas, whether it be on the timeline or on the preview guys. But before we start, guys, can we smash 20 likes again? I know in the last squad builder I did for FIFA 16, I got over 21 likes. That was really good, guys. I'm loving the support. So thank you very much for that. And guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as it really drives me to continue making this kind of awesome content for you guys. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you guys want to be doing is resetting your dynamic RAM preview to zero. And how you're going to do this is head over to the options menu and go to preferences and go into video now here you will see it is selected default as 2000 what you want to do is go zero the thing to do is basically decrease your dynamic ram preview so basically it's not gonna have a fixed amount and this is gonna essentially just speed your preview and timeline up my second tip for you guys today is to turn off gpu acceleration and the way you guys want to do that so by default it will have your manufacturer's um, gpu but what you guys want to do is turn this off. The reason why you should turn this off is pretty much because this can use the default settings and it won't have to go through the GPU. And sometimes the manufacturer's GPU is a bit inefficient, guys. So I do recommend turning this off. And for the third step for you guys today is to optimize GPU performance. And the way you want to do this, guys, is to head over to preview device and then scroll down to where it says optimize GPU display performance. What you guys want to do is disable this. This will certainly reduce lag. It's because it doesn't have to do two things at once. So it doesn't have to optimize it while you guys are playing your preview. It can just play it as normal. So that's why it will obviously not give you too much lag. My fourth tip for you guys today is to uncheck recompress edited frames. And what you want to do here is scroll down to recompress edited frames and you want to uncheck that. So again, it does not have to multitask while you are rendering your preview, which is obviously going to result in not as much lag, guys. And my fifth, now my fifth tip for you guys today is to enable multi-stream rendering, guys. And the way you want to do this, guys, is to go to options and hover down to preferences. And before you press preferences, I want you to press shift and then hit preferences. And this is gonna bring up a little secret menu, guys. The secret menu is called internal here. It will be at your top right corner of the new window that is displayed. And here, you'll scroll down and you'll say show only prefs containing. And here is where you want to type in multi-stream. And then you will get an option which says enable multi-stream render. Its default is false, but the value we wanna change it to is true. So you wanna double click on the box where it says false under value and change it to true. And you want to hit enter, guys. And the reason why this is going to be faster is it's it's going to use multi-threading. So what it's going to do is basically show you the preview and do your stuff on multi-string. So it's going to utilize all your cores a bit better, guys. And this will, again, result in less lag, guys, which is going to make it easier to edit your videos. And after you've done this, you just want to hit apply and press OK. So my sixth and final tip for you guys is to pick a specific template when you start. And these specific templates are going to help you reduce your lag, guys. So you want to, as usual, go to new. But when you select your template, you want to go to one of these three options. HD 720p at 60 frames per second. HD 720p at 50 frames per second. Or HD 1080p if you're doing a full HD file at 24 frames per second. So for this video example, I will be selecting the HD 1080p at 23 frames per second. So guys, if you are selecting this option, guys, you can change the frame rate of it. So can you with the other options as well. If you do want lower frame rates for these options, you can very easily change them, guys. 
And after you've done this, guys, make sure you press start all new objects with these settings so you do not have to do this again. And just press OK, guys, and you can edit as normal. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning into this video. If you did find it helpful, drop a lovely like. If we can hit 20 likes, that would be awesome, guys. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys do, as it will continue driving me to continue making awesome content for you guys. And if you have any feedback for this video, negative or positive, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below in this video, as it does help improve the quality of my future videos, guys. Anyway, people, this brings me to the end of my video. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ultra Raj. See you next time, pals. Guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Ultra Raj, and today I'm going to unveil an insane BPL squad builder, which is going to win you plenty of games. It's not going to break the bank, costing you only 25k guys it's awesome you're gonna love this